I think the difference between what he just said and what you said, a role mm -hmm. model, a role model is someone you're looking up to, but that doesn't always mean that, you know. Role model doesn't equate to someone who's yeah. a gentleman. And he no. doesn't always no. hold you accountable, that role model. That's just someone you look up to, someone that you can kind of follow in your, their footsteps and, you know, kind of strive to be like them. But yeah. that's not to say that they're trying to correct you and, you know, shape you to be a better dude. You right. Know, he is my role model, but. He's a bad example because he does both, but like I would say that. Um, <laughs> wow, I, I monitor, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I have an uncle, my uncle Jack. Let's say Uncle Jack. Okay. He um would maybe be a good role model to somebody somewhere, not me. But Ooh, he's not going to be the person to yeah. you know tell you, hey, you can't do these things, you know. But that's not to say he's not a role model. He's just not going to go out of his way to you know correct you on things. Right. And I, I just think what he's saying is definitely different from a role model. Right. Because so there has to be some relational equity there. So in other words, you just can't go and just say, hey, I'm your uncle. Do this. There, right. The relational equity, that person, that male has to have a safe haven to know this person is advising because they have my best interest at hand. And so if there's no best interest, there's going to be a defense, especially if it's never been done. So that's why we encourage people to get involved with sports, music, mm -hmm. things where there's a coach. And there's some advising, there's some correction, because if you don't have that, just, just imagine this young boy goes, grows up, has never had that. He goes in the real world, no gifts, no ability to make friends. Who is he going to work for without being able to be? That's a, a lot of young men these days. Right. And I'm not even talking about kids without dads. There's a lot of kids without dads that don't have that one. It's because they get too addicted to like the computer and shit now and too addicted to the virtual world. Yeah, the computer has enabled humanity because these guys nowadays, they don't even know how to shake hands, look you in the eyes, shake hands, yep. let alone put a suit on, get ready for a job interview, have a dialogue, look, look at a man in his eye. They don't even know that part. That They're not even at that part yet. We're at the very immature stage it's like, hey, Extend your hand, make a handshake, look a man in the eyes, mm -hmm. be attentive, get off your phone, we, especially when you're in an opportunity to get a job or something that where that's going to benefit you. You have to be 100 percent in with everything, check mark, personality, hygiene, dialogue, yeah. body language, all those check, check, check. That's not being taught at school. And it's not been taught on the tablet. So what happens, they get in the real world, they can't have a, hey, man, how's the game? It's weird. It's awkward because they have never been in this foreign land before. And so I watched Ray grow up, and he's got all the skills. He's He made friends. He played sports. He, he This what is what evolved him. He gets opportunity. Like, he's been, you traveled to probably, what, at least 16 states already, and he's under 30 and travel because of the opportunity relationship yep. he goes here and relationship is the currency of life. Now it doesn't matter how much money you have, where you can, what your background is. If you don't have relationship, it, there, there's no currency.